index funds have taken quite a hit this morning and this afternoon uh, on fears of inflation and the pandemic, specifically the Delta variant and how many cases there actually are popping about recently, especially with lockdowns being eased. Looking at the index funds, it's, 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 it has really affected them pretty, pretty heavy today. And it actually could be a short term shift. And I do think it is a short term shift where we could see another week or two weeks of downward action where the markets are falling. Uh, and then and then we pick back up again. Ultimately, even though the funds, you know, index funds, FTSE, DAX, uh, S&P, NASDAQ, even though that they're all down, I do think that this is transitionary, as they would say. And I do think things will pick back up again. I think that this could provide an opportunity. However, getting in is what is important. And it's the levels to watch today that I'm looking out now to place long positions. I wouldn't be shorting these funds, not at all. Um, it's long positions I'd be looking for, but I wouldn't want to be getting in now as it could be a bit of a risk on trade if you were doing that. It's the 19th of July. My name is Tyrone and you're watching Mini Pip. Looking at the Dow Jones first. We do have a tough resistance at around that 35,000 to 35,100 level. And until we break that, it is a very good possibility that we're going to sort of swing in between this, this level here and potentially lower if inflation worries do pick up a bit more and we see that, you know, retail sales and the Fed are looking to sort of maybe potentially even increase interest rates. Policy at the moment is very unpredictable it's, it's very hard to tell whether or not they're going to be changing those policies so essentially you are having to play it by ear on that but looking at the the Dow you do have really tough good support at around 32,600 to 32,500 which has acted as support in the past and as previous resistance back in March and support in June. If we do break below there, we want to be heading towards this cluster around 34, uh, 31,100 to 30, sort of 1,000 exactly. And if we do break below that, then we could potentially be heading to the pandemic pre highs at around 30,000 to 29,500, somewhere in between that. I wouldn't be a buyer on this until we hit one of these levels. I would start to look to build a long position potentially if the conditions were right at around this 32,600 to 32,500 level. If we continue to fall, I would add to that position slowly and build up a position in preparation for when this does eventually at some point continue its rally high. It will do, but we could be in for a short term decline, 3, 4%, even 5 to 10% if, if the conditions are there. You know, And so essentially, I do want to be long in this market. I would just wait for a pullback on the Dow Jones. Now, looking at the FTSE, it's a little bit easier to predict what, or I would say predict what's going to happen. We are in a uptrend still from that low, and we do have what is good at support at around that 30, uh, sorry, 6,500 level here. So what I would be looking for in the FTSE, it's, it's probably very likely that we're going to get, you know, a bounce up. As we are oversold on the daily time frame and then we continue to pull back sort of throughout August towards the low there around 6.5. I would be buying at around that 6,500 level. I wouldn't be buying anywhere now as it could continue to fall like this. It's a very good possibility um, as the FTSE is quite unpredictable. It's quite heavy as well in terms of its weighting, especially with banking. A lot of the airlines are struggling at the moment, even though you know, the, the restrictions have been lifted. It's a very good possibility that the FTSE will continue to fall. If it does bounce from here, we do have a very tough resistance, firstly, at that psychological 7,000 level. Uh, break above 7,000 could take you to some, towards 7,200. Now, I did actually post this just a couple of days ago on the 17th of July, and essentially, I was looking for support to hold, and there was a chance, you know, that, we could have broke out and gone towards 7,200 highs and then towards 7,400. However, it seems that 
the the red scenario as such the downward scenario is playing out so we have instantly gone down to that level of 6800 which is what i was essentially looking for on here um, and we've done it in a day which was you know that could provide a good opportunity and so that is what i'm waiting for is a slight you know rise in this and a further decline to then get long uh, but again same situation as the, as the dow jones i wouldn't want to be going short in this market i prefer to be long as i think it's better the dax is the same situation now the dax is a bit more interesting because the dax is testing that resistance uh well the, the sorry the support of the going back to the pandemic low and if let's say the FTSE and the dow they do continue to fall chances are the dax will continue to fall as well meaning this will actually break that support looking at the support you've got 15,000 sort of 14,900 coming in as your first level where we have acted as that support before around may uh, if we do break that then there is a chance that we could go towards 14,000 so that's a 1,100.4 from here again even if they was falling i'm not going to try and short these markets because there's a bit you know there's a very good possibility they could quickly turn around and if you're stuck in a short position down here it, you know you're not going to get out of it at a break even or a profit it's, it's not going to happen they're going to continue higher and again i think it is probably only a matter of time a couple of months before the dax may hit 16,000 16,500 i think that right now i wouldn't be looking to go long until about 14,900 to 15,000 i'd start to build up a position position similar to as i would in the FTSE if we break down there and we're going to this initial resistance which proved at pre-pandemic and around january this year we finally broke out so there's nothing wrong to say that we could test that that would be healthy and it would provide a good opportunity to go long nasdaq is the same as the FTSE in terms of the trend line holding we do have quite a good base to the nasdaq actually and uh, you know I've, I've been long in this recently over the last couple of weeks and i've been able to catch a lot of the rally sort of throughout june and some of july and i actually sold my position at 15, uh, 15 000. i'm now waiting to go back long in this position i think that a pull back towards 14 000 looks very possible and if we get that you know that is where i would start to then rebuild that position as we speak you can see that markets are actually starting to recover some of their losses now so uh, you know uh, when i was looking at this this was down around 1.3 percent this was down around 2.4 percent and they are starting to recover back to those initial sort of round numbers so it's a very good possibility that we could even bounce from here and this could just provide a good buying opportunity but for me i am waiting for a further pullback towards for the nasdaq 14,000, and then potentially we go up to 15,000. we break that and 15.5 is where i'd be looking at if we do break 14,000, then it might not look great for tech we could be heading towards the uh the sort of 13,000 level um so a break below that could take us down to this sort of cluster and this initial sort of support here and then we could see something like that though i think that that's unlikely given the way you know these growth stocks have been going since the pandemic and that tech is that way i do think tech companies will continue to get bigger and so i wouldn't again be shorting this index not a chance i'm just waiting for a good opportunity to buy i did initially buy i've now sold and now i'm just waiting to get back in back in again and I'd be looking at around 14,000 for my first entry. And if we, if we do continue to fall, I would slowly build up that position, leading a very, very, very long stop loss as such, you know, a lot of movement within, within the position as these it is a very volatile market at the moment. Uh, I will keep track of these companies and these index funds, sorry, on the website. So if you, want to keep up to date with what i'm doing just like and subscribe and just follow the the website and things will be uploaded thanks for watching